Hi beautiful, Janie here. Thank you very much indeed for visiting my channel again. It's really good to see you, lovely to have you here. Now, today we're talking about my three top tips for getting rid of wrinkles naturally. Now, just because it's natural doesn't mean to say that it's woo or old wives tales or anything like that. In fact, as always, everything I bring you is fully researched, properly science-based, and above all, safe and effective. Also, do stick with me right to the end because I have a really fascinating extra bonus tip for you. It's super easy to implement and really makes a difference to how you look immediately. So stay with me because I also have a wonderful download for you as well and I'll give you all the details for that right at the end. Now, as I'm sure you realize, each week I bring you fascinating ways to rewind your body clock to get happier, healthier, and younger quite naturally. As always, everything is fully researched, so you know that it's the real deal and not just something that somebody on the internet made up just because it seemed like a good idea at the time. So, so that you don't miss out on any of these fascinating tips and techniques, do please subscribe to the channel and also hit the little bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video every week, you'll get a notification that it's there for you. So, step one, or tip one if you like, in combating wrinkles actually starts with what we put into our bodies. You know the old saying, you are what you eat? Well, actually, it's more along the lines of you are what you absorb. So first of all, we've got to look at gut health because it's absolutely essential to make sure that your intestines and the bacteria in your intestines are performing optimally because they really help you to get the most bang for your buck nutritionally. So I would always suggest starting by making sure that you have a really powerful probiotic that, and those are the good bacteria. So make sure that you find one and read the packaging to ensure that all of those billions of bacteria that you're taking in one little tiny capsule are actually able to get right through your intestinal system and to the places that they need to be. Some need to be in the upper part of the gut sink, some need to be in the lower part of the gut. I actually have a wonderful blog on my website that talks about all of these things. So the link is down below. So if you want to check that out in a bit, you can do by all means. Now also, the other research-based information about really making a difference to your skin and getting rid of wrinkles and so on is by following a plant-based whole food diet or in other words following a vegan diet that's really really healthy now of course we know it's pos perfectly possible to be vegan and to eat junk food but that's actually going to just play havoc with your skin. Now the reason for that is that Junk food, for example, contains very, very high levels of fats and sugars. Now, fats and sugars contain substances called AGEs, quite appropriately, AGEs. Now, that stands for Advanced Glycation End Products. And what those do is that they actually cause the collagen in your skin, essentially your skin's scaffolding, to tighten and stiffen. Now, what that does is it means that it causes wrinkles. Sorry, I've got hair going everywhere here. Um, it causes your skin to wrinkle because your skin sort of tightens up and um, it kind of goes into crevices and bumps and lumps and so on. But that's not the whole story because what's actually going on as well is that other parts of your body are also being affected by these AGEs. So what happens ultimately is you'll get kidney damage, eye damage, and all of those things that we associate with aging poorly. So it's really essential to ensure that you have as much fruit, fresh fruit, vegetables, um, nuts and seeds and beans for protein, of course, in your diet as you possibly can. Now, my tip is always to try to choose organic if you possibly can. Now, again, on my website, I have a list of the Clean 15, those fruits and veggies that you can pretty much safely eat and they don't have to be organic because they're not particularly sprayed or contaminated. I also have a list of the Dirty Dozen for this year as well. Now, those guys are the ones that you really do need to try to buy organic if you possibly can. If you can't, you have to peel them or wash them very, very thoroughly. If you can do that, then you're good to go. If you can incorporate all of those in your diet, it's going to make a massive difference to how you feel, but also to how you look. It's absolutely crucial to be as healthy as you can on the inside, because of course that reflects 
how well you are on the outside. Now, the reason I feel so passionate about this topic is because I experienced um, dramatically accelerated premature aging because I have a health concern called rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune condition and it's where your immune system actually attacks your body. Now most people think of it as attacking the joints and yes of course it does do that but about 17 years ago I experienced a total health meltdown. In fact it was so bad that I ended up in a hospice fully expected to die. Now, what actually happened was that clearly I, I didn't, and I threw everything I could at the problem. I enlisted all my brilliant friends in the complementary and integrative medicine, medic medical field, and really we all pulled together to figure out what to do to actually get me out of there. Now, the thing was that this enormous flare-up was essentially caused by runaway inflammation happening. Now, when that happens, not just your joints are involved, as you might expect with arthritis, but actually in that situation, my lungs, my liver, my kidneys, my brain, and of course my skin, because it's an organ. Your skin is an organ. It's your body's biggest organ of elimination. Everything was affected. And I aged so rapidly, it was absolutely scary. Now, uh, the reason I'm sharing that with you is because I just want to illustrate that we can go really to death's door and we can develop wrinkles and so on, but actually these things are reversible. So I, even if you're feeling right now that, well, look, you know, I've got these wrinkles, Janie, and you know, I've, nothing can be done about them, I can assure you that yes, an awful lot can be done about them and it's all about lifestyle. Anyway, I'd love to have your thoughts about this. Have you actually tried a plant-based diet? Have you actually tried living sort of a whole foods diet and trying to almost follow an anti-inflammatory diet? Have you tried anything like that at all? Or are you interested in doing so? I'd love your comments actually. And um, if you can leave me some comments or questions, of course, in the comments below, I'd be more than happy to come back and chat with you and share thoughts and advice. Also, if you've got any tips that you'd like to share with the group, then please do so as well. Now, my second step is to think about environmental situations and conditions. So what I mean by that is ensuring that you are avoiding things that we know to be rapidly pro-aging. So obviously cigarette smoke is one of those first things. So of course, if you smoke, just please, please stop. Not for the sake of your skin, but for the sake of your life. It's absolutely, it's non-negotiable. We all know that. So please do whatever it takes to stop as soon as you possibly can. Now, the second thing also is to think about your environment. Um, environmental pollution is a key factor when it comes to aging. Now, when we talk about aging factors, don't forget that, you know, we are full body systems. We're not just, you know, a, a, a part of our, our, our skin, we're not just our brain, we're not just our intestines. All of it works in a beautiful constellation. So what I want you to think about is anything that affects you environmentally is going to have a direct impact upon the wellness and your appearance and your wrinkles and your skin and, and how you look. So please think about cleaning up your environment and also avoiding cigarette smoke and secondhand smoke if you possibly can. Now, step three is a little bit like I spoke about earlier, um, what I really want you to do is to think about leading an anti-inflammatory lifestyle because it's in runaway inflammation that actually causes us to dramatically age. So obviously we talked about food a little bit earlier. Think about uh, putting a rainbow on your plate, getting as many colorful fruits and veggies into each meal as you possibly can. Now it may sound a little bit trite, but there's a very, very good reason for it. And that reason is that plants contain an array of beautiful phytochemicals. Do you know, most of those, we don't even know what they do. We know that they're pro-health and we know that they are good for us. But what has never actually been fully researched is the way that this, this constellation of phytochemicals actually works together alongside minerals, alongside um, uh, vitamins and so on. So think about incorporating as many varied fruits and veggies as you possibly can throughout the day. Also, 
Meditation has been shown to dramatically rewind our body clocks to make us biologically younger. So that means that, of course, we're not getting younger in years. That would be impossible unless you have a time machine, which I'm assuming you probably don't, but you might. Um, but actually, when you think about it, you think about your biological age, that's how old we are in terms of our biology. Now, I aged very dramatically, as I explained to you earlier. And while I, when I was in hospital, I was only in the hospice, I was only 37. And my biological age was testing at 55. So I was an awful lot older than my actual chronological age. But now, because I've implemented all of these tips and techniques, my biological age is measuring at 27, whereas I am chronologically nearly 55. So what that means is that there's always hope. There's always ways that you can actually get healthier, happier, and actually biologically younger. So thinking about meditation, what should we do? What's the best technique? Well, the best researched or most researched technique is something called the relaxation response. Now this was pioneered and well discovered and pioneered by Dr. Herbert Benson who runs the Benson Henry Institute at Harvard Medical School and I had the immense privilege of actually studying under him. So he's like the granddaddy of mind-body medicine and he's just like the, the most wonderful grandfather figure in this field that you can imagine. Now his, his relaxation response is very 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 easy to do. I've actually got a download on my website that you can listen to. It's a tutorial recording um, because I often think it's easier to learn meditations by listening to it as you're sort of going through it just and it's it's not a meditation as such that I've got for you it's an instructional recording so you can listen to it you can go through the process much much easier to learn it that way now that's a free download for you on my website again of course details below so please don't do head on over there and just get that grab it take it home with you download it listen to it the optimum uh, dosage, if you like, of meditation that's been proven to work throughout all the research studies is 20 minutes twice a day. So if you can integrate that into your life, you'll be actually rewinding your body clock and actually making yourself biologically younger. Now that, what that does is it has been shown to increase the length of the telomeres they're those little caps on the end of our chromosomes that shorten as we get older. However, the relaxation response has been shown to lengthen those telomeres. So what it does effectively is it's rewinding our biological clock. And so that's a really, really neat trick. Now, if you can do that, again, you'll find that you will look younger, you will have fewer wrinkles, and you'll be, of course, overall much, much healthier and more resilient to stressors. Can't be bad. Don't you think it's really interesting that the tips and techniques I'm sharing with you about how to combat wrinkles are really all about getting healthier as a whole? Because of course, what we do to get well and healthy on the inside gives us a glow on the outside. I'd love your thoughts about this. So leave me some comments and let me know if you're going to try any of these tips and techniques. Now, that brings me very neatly onto my final bonus tip, which is the result of a study that was undertaken in the, at the University of Western Australia. Now, this was a study on the effects that beta carotenes have on our levels of attractiveness. Now that might sound really weird, and it kind of is, but it's really intriguing. So just to give you an idea, an overview, beta carotenes are found in orange fruits. So things like sweet potatoes, um, sorry, orange fruits and veggies, I should say. Things like sweet potatoes, apricots, carrots, of course, um, and anything else that's orange in color. Now, the thing about beta carotenes is that they're a precursor to vitamin A, and they do have a property of being able to stain your skin. So there are cases of people suddenly eating gazillions of carrots and going bright orange. We don't want that to happen, do we? No, okay, so don't do that. But the research study showed that 
they gave the participants in the study just one carrot a day for two weeks. And at the end of the study, after just two weeks and just one carrot a day, they were actually judged to be more attractive because what had happened was that they looked as though they had a healthy glow. And humans are kind of hardwired to find healthy looking individuals more attractive. Interesting. So um, incorporate Think orange fruits into your into your diet because it will actually give you that sort of like a, a, a healthy look and of course they are full of wonderful phytochemicals and of course a really good dose of beta carotene which of course is a precursor to vitamin A. What I love about this though is that if you were to take vitamin A as a supplement you could easily overdose on it and it could be quite toxic but if you're having your vitamin A essentially delivered to you through fruits and veggies, then what happens is that your body uses just the right amount that it needs and the rest is just excreted. So have a think about that. What do you think about this? Do you, is this something that you're going to try? I'd love to know. And, you know, as always, leave me a comment um, down below in the notes. And, uh, you know, if you've got any other tips, then please share them. I'd love to know because it's so exciting being on this platform because we can all share. Now you know exactly how to combat wrinkles the natural way. But the thing is, unless you know precisely which fruits and veggies and foods to incorporate in your diet, it can get pretty confusing. So in order to help you, I've created a wonderful download for you, which tells you exactly which are the best and so on. You can get these if you click the link below and that'll take you to my site where you can actually get the download. So what do you think? Are you going to try any of these tips? If so, I would absolutely love to know how you get on. Please let me know. Do use the comments down below as well because it's a great platform for us to be able to talk to each other and interact and so on. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon to ensure that you know every time I load a new video up for you. I'd also love to know your suggestions for future videos as well so that I can keep making really, really useful content for you. And last but not least, do share this video and also if you found it helpful, give me a little thumbs up. Click the like button below as well. So that's it from me for this week and I very much look forward to seeing you next week. Please check out the other videos because there's an awful lot of useful stuff that I've uploaded already. See you soon.